This is Mike Porter with Real Fitness Reviews. Today we're going to go through some posing. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to pose, how to make your muscles look the best. So I'm going to start off with just the relaxed poses, which you're never really relaxed. You're flexing as hard as you can the whole time. And then we're going to go through some mandatory. So we're going to start off with the front relaxed. So basically, I'm going to have my toes pretty close together. I'm going to push my knees out, and then I'm going to tip my hips back. And what that allows me to do is flex the upper part of my quads. So you're always going to think feet up. So I'm thinking calves, quads, hips, and then I'm going to worry about my upper body. So what I'm going to do once my legs are set, I got them flexed. I'm going to bring my lats out. I'm going to pull my stomach in and expand everything just like that. So there's your front relaxed. And they're going to say quarter turn to the right. And you want to make this look fluid so you can step back and turn. Sit down and then I'm going to take my arms, take this and make a fist, put it right by your belly button. This arm, I'm going to put almost straight down but back enough that you can see loose gravation. So I'm here. Again, I'm flexing my calves, my hams, my quads pushing against my other quad, and then I'm right here. I'm going to pull in my stomach and let my hair out so you can see my obliques. Quarter turn to the right, I'm going to turn and face the rear. Again, fluid. Heels close together. <laughs> Again, I'm going to start with my feet. So I'm going to flex my calves, then I'm going to flex my hamstrings, then I'm going to flex my glutes, then I'm going to go my lower back, and spread my other back out. So, for a turn to the right, again, it's the same thing as before. So it's fluid and a fist, or a fist right here by the other button, pull the air out, flex the clock, turn face the front. So there is your mandatories, or your uh, relaxed poses. Now we're going to go through mandatories. First one they'll typically call is a front double bicep. Now there's two ways you can do your legs. You can just sit down and then flex your legs as hard as you can right here. Or you can step out, turn your toe forward. Now I can pull this way with my legs and keep most of my weight on this one. Once my legs are set, I'm up, down, big breath of air in, and then let it out so I can pull my rib cage in. Or I'm here. And smile. The Jeff just want to see you smile. The next pose I'll probably call is a front lat spread. Again, I pretty much just keep my legs right here. So I'm going to get my legs set, then tip my hips back. Spread your lats out, big breath of air in, pull your stomach in. So right here. Next, they're going to call a side chest. They might say you want faster, they might say quarter turn to the right, so I'll just go to the right first. So here, I'm going to spike my calf. You always think feet up. So I'm flexing my calf. Now I'm going to work on my quad and my hamstring and my glutes. So I'm sitting down on it enough that I can push my knee against my other knee. Now I can flex my glute this way and push my knee that way against my other knee. Once my leg is set, then I can worry about my upper body. Again, I will take my hand, grab my wrist, big breath in, flex your bicep, and push this arm against your chest. And then flex your release. And smile. Next, I'll call side tricep. Legs exactly the same thing. And instead of Chest up, so we're going to try set. So I get my legs set, and then I'm going to let my hair out and flex my obliques, and then I'm going to flex my tricep. Next, we're going to say face the curtain, and I'm going to do a back of the bicep. So again, you take legs first. So I'm going to step back, I'm going to flex my calves, hands, glutes together, then I'm going to worry about my back. So arms up, down, and then I'm going to tip my arms back, so you can see my bicep piece, and I'm going to bring my arms forward so it spreads my back up more. So it's legs are set, up, down, right there. Next pose, relax spread. 
Legs are going to do the same thing. We're going to start by stepping back, flexing, big feet up. So I got calves, hands, glutes, and then I'm going to worry about my back. I'm going to flex it as hard as I can, pull it back, and then I'm going to spread it out. The next one we'll probably call will be the domino thigh. Domino thigh. So here there's two ways you can do it. You can step forward, and you're going to be pulling back this way with my quad. Or I can lock my leg out completely. Again, it's going to depend on you. You got to see what's best for you. You got to play with it. So I like to do both. So I'll start up with my leg set. And again, you want to look at your bicep peaks on this. A lot of people forget to do that. So I'm going to bring my arms up right here. I'm flexing my biceps to get my peak. Once my legs are set, I'm going to take a big breath of air. I'm going to let it out. And I'm going to flex my hands and flex that really, really hard. Next couple poses will typically be at the end of a sequence. Get out of breath because this is hard, but we're going to do most muscular. Now there's trap in most muscular, there's hands on hip most muscular. The judges may call it differently. So we'll start off with hands on hip. Again, you can start with your feet together. And I'm going to pull my hands on my, my glutes. I'm going to pull everything forward to flex my shoulders, my chest, and have everything just as hard as I possibly can. Flex your quads, take your feet up. So my feet are my legs, my quads are flexed. Flex your abs. Let the air out. The other one is trap over. So again, I'm going to step forward. Same as with the quad. I'm going to pull back. Again, you can lock out the quad or you can keep it slightly bent. But again, make sure you're flexing the far leg as well because they want to see both legs flexed. So again, you can set your legs. Then you're going to come up, bring your traps up, flex your legs, flex everything as hard as you possibly can. And again, play with your quad. You can lock it out to show striation. They do both of those. Another good pose that they might make you do is side springs. So it's very similar to a side chest or side tricep with your legs. So I'm going to start by spiking my calf, flexing my hamstring. My glutes are flexed that way. My knee is pushing against my other knee. I'm going to take this arm and go up and make a bicep. This arm makes a fist this way. I'm going to crunch down my obliques and try and show that. So I set my legs. Flex everything as hard as I can. And that's pretty much the poses you're going to run into when you uh, go to do a competition. So uh, keep trying those tips and tricks. That should help you move up in your placing. And uh, my report will go fitness reviews. We'll have more videos for you in the future.